welcome to showmethecurry.com. I'm Anuja. And I'm Hethal. And uh, we have this wonderful thali over here with some reta, some chole and some pickle. All that's missing is some puris. So let's make some puris. And here's what you're going to need. One and a half cups whole wheat chapati flour. Quarter teaspoon salt. One tablespoon oil. Half cup warm water. Oil for deep frying. Okay, we're going to start off uh, first by showing you how to make the chapati dough. Basically, it's a chapati dough, same dough that we use for puris and parathas, and uh, it's a very basic, simple uh, recipe. We have flour, salt, and oil, and we're going to mix this together. And just mix it around to where all the oil gets incorporated into the flour, and uh, you don't see like lumps of oil there. Okay, once that's done, we're going to add some water to it, a little bit at a time. And you want to make sure you use warm water, it works best. Now just mix it really well and you're going to keep kneading it until it forms a nice ball. You don't want your puri atta to be, or puri dough to be very, very soft because again, puris are rolled out without using any ad any additional dry flour. So you want to kind of make sure it's uh, nice and thick and stiff. Right. Actually, if you do, uh, a lot of people, you know, do add atta uh, to the while they're rolling out the puri. Uh, it's not a good idea because then that way your uh, puri will absorb more oil, so it'll be more oily. So try not to do that. Even if, if you need to just add a little bit of uh, oil your hands a little bit, or just put a smear a little bit of oil, it's better than putting dry out on it. Okay, once your dough gets to about this shape, basically all the dry flour is now incorporated into this ball. We're going to just sprinkle a couple of uh, drops of oil on here. You can use the remaining one, whatever you had left from your oil can and just coat it nicely. And you're going to do this because you don't want the dough to dry out and form a skin on top while it's sitting there. You're going to have to let this dough rest for um, a minutes. good time is, yeah, yeah, half hour if you have it, but 10 minutes definitely. At least. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Cover it, keep it, and we'll see you in 10 minutes. Okay, our dough has been resting for about 10 minutes. And let's take a look. We're going to knead it one more time. And also we've got our oil heating up on uh, medium to low heat and uh, you know you need it to be nice and hot before you uh, put the puris inside. And we're just going to kind of make a long snake type thing out of here and portion these out. Now puris are a lot smaller than chapatis so um, it's probably like uh, sm a little bit smaller than a golf ball size. This, um, the amount we've uh, shown you will probably make about uh, 12 to 15 uh, puris depending on the size you uh, roll out. And uh, that's actually pretty good for about four people, three mm -hmm. to four people. Yes. One of our uh, dough pieces here, we're going to just roll it around in our palms like this, make a nice round even ball, and then just flatten it out. Okay. And then we'll roll it out. And you don't want to roll this too thin, otherwise the puri won't uh, puff up. So just a nice uh, even roll out. Actually, puris are served uh, during festivals, pujas, religious functions, or when you have guests. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> that is so true. Uh, so I mean, it's always like a special occasion. <laughs> right. Actually, we've uh, rolled them out and put them on the plate over here. Especially if you have like a, if you're going to be making it for guests, uh, you want to make a bigger batch, and you don't want to be sitting there and doing it when they're, you know, right there. Uh, you can roll them out and put them on a plate or a tray or whatever. But just make sure you cover them up with a damp cloth so that they don't dry up because otherwise they form a crust and it won't be, uh, it won't look pretty and it won't puff up nicely. Okay, our oil is ready. So let's put a puri inside. And the moment you put it in, 
it will settle, settle down for just a couple of seconds and then you will see it come up and then you just take your uh, ladle and just press it in from one side very gently so it puffs up. Look at that. That's, yeah, that's mm -hmm. what you're looking for. And uh, then just flip it around. Wow, beautiful. And you're going to let the bottom side cook now for just, uh, you know, maybe about 15 seconds. You, you want to be careful that your oil is not too hot, that when you put the booty in, it just burns all of a sudden. Right. So, nice golden brown, and it's perfect. Take like, all the excess uh, oil out. And we put it on a paper towel. Beautiful. And ready for the next one. And you always have to be careful while frying, you know. You, we want you to be safe. Mm -hmm. So it's going to, now it's coming up. Now I'm just going to gently again. And you want to be especially careful when you're putting the puri in. Um, you don't, you know, don't just kind of throw it in there where the oil splashes all over because right. that's not a good thing. But uh, gently, if you slide it in, just from the edge, you just slide it in and it'll go right in. And when you get good, you can actually start putting like two or three booties in at a time and, you know, saves your time a lot faster. Actually, you know, uh, there's a lot of different ways of making puri also. Uh, uh, there are people who put uh, boiled potatoes in there. Mm -hmm. It tastes very good. It does not puff up as much as this because it's, you know, it's taking in a lot more oil. Um, but they are very, very tasty. So just boil the potato and just put, put it in with the batter. You know, when you're making the dough, just put it in that with that and it comes out excellent. So you know, just for a variation, if you ever want to try that, you know, give it a shot. Best served hot. Oh yes, yeah. <laughs> garam garam puri <laughs> with garam garam chai. Yes. <laughs> so our puris are ready to enjoy, <laughs> and we are off to lunch. <laughs> so join us again on another episode of ShowMeTheCurry.com. Adding a pinch of spice to your life. <laughs>